So skepticism is one feeling that a lot of people in West Seattle are feeling, but the bridge closure does have a silver lining for at least one business owner that we talked to. Got all sorts of handmade, vintage. Becky Bassig opened this vintage goods shop in 2020 during the thick of the pandemic. In the 80s, 90s. Her job as an after-school art teacher at Alki Elementary ended because of COVID shutdowns. She had no choice but to go after her dream of opening her own shop. Business is okay. I'd say today's not a great example. The weather sucks, um, but usually, like, we do pretty, pretty okay. She commutes from Seattle Central District, so she, like so many West Seattleites, is struggling with the West Seattle bridge closure. And when she heard of yet another delay. A little disappointed, but also indifferent because it's been getting pushed back forever. The Seattle Department of Transportation updated the public with a new timeline that sets the reopening date to the week of September 12th. So the whole thing is now um, compressed concrete. Those concrete pours were supposed to begin at the beginning of the year, but delayed until mid-April due to a concrete worker strike. Estot says crews never stopped working and continued with other repairs like epoxy injections and carbon fiber wrapping. And thank you so much for your patience and resilience as the closure continues. We know um, that I you know I'm one of your neighbors. Is it disappointing that it's pushed back further? Absolutely. But West Seattle's shop owners get it too. I'm at least a little happier that it's more realistic. Like it's gonna happen in my lifetime. <laughs> it's gonna happen this year. <laughs> and making the best of an inconvenient situation. Kind of found that like a lot of people are so stuck over here. It's such an island that like we got a lot of just local love because of the bridge being out because of COVID and all the different circumstances. The neighborhood group West Seattle Junction hopes these ongoing repairs will not stop people from going to West Seattle for their annual summer fest, a street fair, which is still scheduled for mid-July. Live in Seattle, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.